Hey guys, Hector Castillo, Poppy, GirlsChase.com. Today I want to talk about how to get a gorgeous girl if you're a low value guy. Is it possible? Yes, it is. You don't have to be world class to get world class girls, although it definitely helps. Uh, there are ways that you can get with really, really amazing women uh, for a variety of reasons, and we'll go over those. But the first tip, uh, because if I give you hope with some shit like that, like, you know, you're some fucking loser sitting in your basement, you know, you don't even know how to talk to a girl, and you would love to see a video that just teaches you how to get that Instagram model that you're in love with, or get that girl that you have a crush on at school and you haven't talked to her in two years. I know that hope gets you very excited, uh, but it's not realistic for the most part. Um, and so my first tip is just become high value. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fuck you, Hector. Yeah, well, you're a lazy piece of shit. So if you're actually willing to go out and make yourself better, get more charismatic, um, succeed in your field that you're interested in and get money in order to provide the lifestyle that you want, do the things you want to do, have the free time to do what you want. Um, you know, it's not the money itself that's attractive. It's, it's what the money can do for you. It can take you places that you want to go. It can allow you to just fuck around and do anything you want because you have the money to survive and provide for yourself. It's about having that good body, not only because it's aesthetic, but because you feel good when you're in good shape. You feel good when you're strong. Uh, when you dress well, you feel good. I mean, you look good, you feel good. That's fucking true as hell. If you're dressed in fuck whatever, Walmart jeans and you know, some cheap ass t-shirt and some New Balances, you're not exactly gonna be feeling like a dime, right? So if you wanna get dimes, you wanna get tens, the best thing you can do is you have to be not a 10. You don't have to be a 10 to get a 10, but it definitely fucking helps. And you want to be as good of, as good as you can be, right? Not, of you, not all of you are going to have the work ethic and the ambition to be fucking world class at whatever it is that you like to do or world class at getting girls. But if you want to get high value girls, for the most part, you're going to have to be high value. You know, there's no fucking magic pill that's going to change that. Uh, there's no phrase I'm going to say to you that's going to make you go. I can get the best girls in the world, right? Um, you gotta put in the work for the most part. You gotta learn game, you gotta make yourself higher status. Um, and you have to have lots and lots of experience with women. Because even if guys are super successful, let's say, you know, they're a famous actor or whatever, or, you know, they have some sort of status or fame. They can get girls with that, obviously. You can get girls with money too. But uh, it's not gonna keep them around. And it's not gonna make them actually desire you. Um, they're just gonna use you, but not in a good way. Um, instead of using you for your charisma and, and your good dick and your and your your fun presence, they're going to be using you for very shallow things that don't have long-lasting value. So you might get pussy, but it's not going to be good pussy. It's going to be low-quality pussy. Even if it's a high-quality girl, it's not going to be great. And usually, high-quality girls are not going to be giving you pussy just because you know you have some status or have some money, um, because they can get guys like you all the time. What's going to make you get the highest quality girls is because you have game and you know how to talk to them and you know how they think, but also you're on your journey and you're doing what you love to do and that's super attractive and you've, you've learned the rules of the game. So best way to get tense and get gorgeous girls if you're low value right now watching this, subscribe to this channel, ring that bell, like the video, and just start watching more videos because that's going to give you the long-term structure and process that's actually gonna make this consistent you know maybe let's say you get in this situation and you just pull off some fucking bombshell but because you're not actually that guy and you kind of just stumbled into it sure she'll date you and sleep with you but you're gonna be constantly her bitch because you don't have the skills to actually keep her in line and so even if there was a magic pill it would only work once you'd get her and then you couldn't keep her so if you really want long-lasting change you're gonna have to develop process and become that guy who's worthy of getting that 10 and that super high quality world-class girl but uh, we do have two situations where you find yourself having very good chances with super high quality women even if you're low value so the first one is that you're gonna show her your potential this happened to me early on when um, girls who definitely were out of my league, were showing very, very extreme interest in me. Uh, despite me not being that smooth, and despite me not being that dominant and charismatic and worthy of them. I definitely knew I wasn't worthy of them. 
But what I think they saw and what I figured out is that these women saw that I would be worthy for them. At some point I was gonna become worthy. So what they saw in me was potential. So if you wanna get super high quality women, uh, even though right now you're low value, you have to show potential. Now, how do you show potential? Well, you're gonna have to show potential with something concrete, right? It can't just be this vague, oh, maybe one day he'll be a cool guy because that'll, that'll last you for a couple months, but then once she sees you're a lazy piece of shit and you're not doing anything and not trying to improve your life, then she's gonna be, oh, you know, I thought wrong. Because girls need growth. That's what they like. Um, you know, when D. Devlin saw um, Conor McGregor, uh, was he like on the street or something? Like somehow she ran into him and he was like very poor, wasn't, you know, didn't really have anything. But she stuck with that man and she supported that man. And so she, she's earned her right as his queen. Um, and she, she stuck with him because she saw the, the potential. So I don't have this complete story, but um, I would say go look up the story between D. Devlin and Conor McGregor, if you don't know who those people are, um, and see how Conor you know, wasn't yet the biggest UFC star of, of all time yet, uh, and one of the best fighters, but she saw something in him. And so it's either gonna be related to, it's gonna be related to your mission and your goal in life um, or your seduction of her. Because there's some guys who really don't amount to much in their life, but they just have an amazing skill of seduction. Um, and so you can get really, really high quality women with that. You don't have to become world-class. You don't have to be the best of the best, top of the mountain in order for a girl to see potential in you. Um, a girl seeing potential in you can be as simple as her knowing that, yeah, you're not gonna be world famous, but you're gonna be doing what you love and be good at it. You know, even if you're only well known at, you know, your painting or your business or your um, whatever, you know, within your community, it's still gonna be you chasing your dreams and you chasing your, your bliss. And when a girl sees that you have that grind and that ambition, small or big, she's gonna become attracted to it because it's gonna be a fun journey. Because that's what a woman's looking for. Um, you know, very specifically, yes, she wants to feel good around you. She wants to laugh around you. She wants good dick from you. She wants orgasms from you. Um, she wants attention from you. But if you had to think of it as one big ship, it, that ship is gonna be the journey. Just this idea of we know where we're going. Like he has a very concrete vision in his mind. Um, yes, the waves are going to be, you know, sometimes really scary and sometimes we're going to get lost and have to look at our compass and sometimes the wind's going to be fast and sometimes there's going to be no wind and the sails are going to be fucking flaccid. But she knows we're going somewhere and that's what's fun. It's the journey. And so the woman wants to be a part of his journey, his history, history. And so if you provide a woman with that dream by showing her potential, uh, she's going to love you or you're just amazing with women and you just provide an amazing experience. You're great at talking to them, great at making them feel nice. Um, but the best combination is a guy who has good game and he's on a mission going somewhere. That's the, that's the, 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 the big dick Buddha seduction journey, inspiration, dream thing that she's buying into and loving you for. And the way she sees that potential usually is effort. It's two things really. It's your effort and it's sparkle in your eye. If you have that sparkle in your eye that like, she knows like you've, you've got it. You've got a plan, you got that mischievous energy. You're ready to, you know, with me, it's this YouTube channel and it's my Instagram and it's my, understand, my journey of women itself. Like women can just tell now, they're like, oh, this guy's gonna do it. Like he's gonna, well, he already did it. He already pulled it off. He's already amazing with women. He already, you know, he, he provides such a good time for me, but also it, he sees it as an art. And I tell women that I'm like, it's my art. You know, coming on faces is my fucking painting and they know it and I tell them about it and they get the, they get the sparkle in the eye because they see my sparkle, that, that fire that burns inside of me and women fucking love that, that passion. So show them passion or concretely show them the effort. You're actually going to the gym and working out. Let's say you wanna be a bodybuilder. You're actually studying your market and the, the startup that you wanna create in that market. You're showing effort, you're actually going and getting the contracts for the rent for the space. Um, you're getting your licenses. You're actually you know, generating um, 
you're getting investors, you're, you're taking money from your normal job and pumping it into your business. You know, you're showing fucking effort. Effort is so attractive to women. And if you're showing that push and that drive towards your dream and what you wanna do uh, and your loving life, that's gonna be enough to make her feel like he may not be amazing right now, but he will be. And I wanna attach myself to him because once he's amazing, then I'm gonna bask in the fruits of my, um, it's like she was helping you water your tree, right? And, and she deserves the uh, rewards that she gets. I remember uh, everyone was uh, up in arms about um, Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, and how you know his wife is taking all this money from him. Um, and I used to have that opinion too, but then I was like, wait a second, that girl's been with him for a long time. And it's not like she just sat back and didn't do anything. You know, I don't know if she ever actually got directly involved in the business, maybe or maybe not. You know, I'm not gonna speak about something I'm not specifically aware about, but I do know women. And, and I do know how value works. And if she was there supporting him and constantly giving him reassurance when things were not going well, you know, um, because it, it didn't become one of the biggest companies in, in the history of ever, uh, and there weren't some troubles, you know, it wasn't just like he was sitting back, you know, loving the whole process. I'm sure there's some really hard things to do. I don't know if any of you know, but Amazon started out with just books. It was just a book place. You just bought books, you sold books. Um, and then it evolved into them selling everything. So what you didn't see was the journey and the process. And she supported him. She supported him. And she, she was behind his, his journey. I don't know how long they were together, but they were there in the beginning. You know, there was a picture of him like when he was kind of like a nerd, you know, like when he was first starting Amazon. And then you see him now and he has, you know, he's still a nerd, I guess, but he has a little bit more. Um, he, he swings a big dick now. And so she was with him for the whole process. And so, yeah, they divorced and yeah, she's gonna get a lot of money, but she earned that. And the reason I'm going over that is because when a woman sees that potential, she wants to be a part of it because it's a fun journey. And that's just what she's gonna do. And so give her that, and in return, she's gonna give you that warmth and that affection and that energy and that sex and that dick sucking. Okay, so now the last situation where you can be a low value guy and get a very, very high value girl is something that isn't quite a magic pill um, because I'll give you the caveat and the, the, the terms of agreement when it comes to this. But I noticed something that when I was really early on in my journey with women and I was young, there was women of just extreme caliber of beauty and of sophistication and of sexiness and coolness. They really liked me, even when I was young and stupid. Um, I don't know what it was. Um, it could be that potential thing. Maybe they just saw my, my, uh, my sparkle in my eye. Maybe they just saw something in me, or maybe there was just something about me, like my, maybe it was something primal, like they just smelt me, and that my smell was just exactly what they were looking for. Somehow, the two animals that we that we operate within, you know, the genetics knew each other. There was a there was a look. There was a moment of just there was something and these girls would just be into me and I look back and I'm like oh my god I could have fucked like these world-class girls right from the beginning because they liked me but 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 and this goes back to the first tip of just become high value just because you get attraction from these world-class women so I'm saying like even some of you who are like some whack-ass dudes I'm sure there's some amazing woman out there who just because of fate or chemistry or biology or physics or whatever when she sees you she just likes you um, it's, it's, it gets more frequent the higher value you are. Um, because high value is more just like expressing who, the best version of you. Because you're not creating attraction, you're kind of just uncovering it and discovering it. But just because these women like you, even if you're lame, doesn't mean you can get her. Maybe she's super into you, but because you're so low value, you have such shit confidence, shit game, you can't hold a conversation. Um, they're not gonna go home with you. They're not gonna have sex with you. Because attraction does not mean action. 
attraction does not mean action. We need to get like a equation right here. Attraction equal sign with a cross through does not equal action. Just because a girl likes you doesn't mean she's suddenly on her knees sucking your dick. If girls fucked every guy they had a crush on, every girl would fuck like a thousand guys. And that's not even anywhere close to reality. Um, there is a vast chasm between a girl being interested in you and actually going home with you. And that's called game. And that's why we have this channel, okay? So subscribe to the channel, learn how to get high value. Um, if you really, really wanna work on getting world-class women, I would suggest picking up one date. It's in the description below. It teaches you how to recognize signs of attraction. So actually know if these high value women are interested in you by paying attention to their signals uh, and their invitations uh, that they show with their facial expressions and their body language. It teaches you how to actually approach them when you do, what to talk about, how to get their number, how to take them out on a date, uh, what to talk about on the date, how to get them home for the date, how to fuck them and turn them into a girlfriend all in one date. Hence the name One Date. So that's in the description below. Check that out. It's very helpful in giving you a streamlined process that over time will give you the results that you want and the high value women that you want. Because in the end, um, even if there's some women who are just in love with you, you know, despite your faults and your mistakes, um, don't be don't be mistaken. You're still going to have to work. You know, life is not going to be handed to you. You're going to have to put in effort. And um, if you're not willing to do that, then don't cry that you don't have high value women. It's very simple. Um, if you want to be a millionaire, do the work that it takes to be a millionaire. If you don't, then either accept you're not going to be a millionaire uh, and stop fucking complaining or do the work and go become it. It's very simple. You're either working or you're not. So become a high value man. Subscribe to this channel. Get good, get big, get cool, get bitches, get money, get paid. Uh, or not, <laughs> but I prefer the guys who do want to achieve what they want to achieve. So if you want high value women, get high value, show them your potential and show them that sparkle in your eye and that fire because they want to jump aboard that ship and suck your dick while it's sailing the high seas. Uh, but then also keep an eye out for those women that just because of fate or biology or whatever, they're just into you. But remember, you're going to have to have the game and the ability and the process to take them from being attracted to them being on their knees, taking your dick in the ass. Cool. Patrick Castillo, Poppy from girlschase.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell. Follow me on social media. See you soon.